shot fire, officer needs help. Uh, give me air unit. According to LAPD, on February 20th, 2024, at around 8.40 p.m., Central Division Patrol officers responded to a radio call for an assault with a deadly weapon suspect at an apartment in the 400 block of East 5th Street. The caller said that the suspect, later identified as 42-year-old Anthony Franks, threatened his neighbor with a gun. Um, he was told to turn down his music, um, and he threatened me with a gun. He has a gun that he pointed out out, out his uh, apartment, um, and I know he has the gun because he shot it on New Year's Eve. But Let me just ask a question to the type of a call. When we get there, is there a code to get into the building? No. Okay, and is he black, white, Hispanic, or Asian? He's white. How old does he look? He's about, I don't know, 50-something. What color shirt, what color pants? Well, I, I don't know. All that. I'm in my apartment. Okay, he has, so, uh, okay. I just saw That's a black sweatshirt he has on. A black sweatshirt? Okay, so I'm going to get some uh, brief descriptors. What color hair does he have? He had a hoodie on his head. I think but you've seen him in the past, right? He's bald. How tall is he approximately? Um, he's like six foot. Is he skinny, heavy? Maybe, maybe he's very skinny, and he has a hunched back. Okay, police will be there as soon as possible. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Once officers arrived at the location, the person reporting, PR, informed the officers that Franks pointed a gun at her. During this brief interaction, Franks emerged from the doorway of his apartment with what appeared to be a pistol, later determined to be a projectile launcher. Franks pointed and fired the weapon at the officers and the PR, which resulted in an officer-involved shooting. Franks was not struck by gunfire and immediately retreated back into his apartment. After a brief standoff, Telephone contact was made with Franks and he was taken into custody without further incident. A weapon, in the appearance of a semi-automatic pistol, capable of firing 50 caliber rubber balls and a jar of 50 caliber rubber balls, were recovered at scene. Additionally, a Smith & Wesson 9mm automatic handgun was also recovered from Franks' apartment. Police said no officers or other community members were injured during this incident. Franks was arrested and booked for assault with a deadly weapon upon a police officer, not a firearm, as well as for two outstanding felony warrants. On February 23, 2024, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following charges against Franks. One count of assault with a deadly weapon, one count of possession of a firearm by a felon, and one count of unlawful possession of ammunition. Additionally, Franks' existing probation was revoked.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.